Thank you. Good. Um, can we join the international break? Another one, last one of the season. Uh, but uh, yes, okay. Not some days off uh, with the players. Um, the remaining of the players that we we have had to work, um, and from the, the last week after the the Tottenham game, uh, we start to prepare the Sheffield United game. Of course, just with the uh, nine nine ten players from from our squad. Um, good sign for us that fourteen around fourteen players they were in the and they had international duties, um, and day by day, step by step, they are they are coming back. And um, today was the last day that three more five players they arrived. We are keeping assessing them for the for the game. Do you manage to get any time off just to relax and enjoy? No, not not big time off. No, we we from that that moment and uh, uh, some days after the, the the Tottenham game, we were starting to prepare the Sheffield United game. As I said, not in the perfect conditions, of course, when you have just nine ten players to to work with, uh, but some things to do behind the scenes as well to prepare the game. On that. Um... Are there any changes to the squad? Any injury that we're going to be aware of since the international break? Until now, no. As I said in the morning, you, you, we did assess last last players. Um, looks, everything is going to be to be okay for the match. Of course, we have to to assess them tomorrow again and to take decisions, but um, not really um, serious problems or something that um, can make to be unavailable for the match. As you know, we have another session tomorrow, and let's see what is going to happen. I guess does that make it somewhat difficult when you're preparing for a game um, for under weekend? Because so many players have gone international break, some of them still arrive now. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not the perfect scenario. As I, as I said, of course, is it isn't. But uh, it's the reality. We knew the the schedule. We knew that he's going to have an international break, and uh, has to be a, a proud moment too when you have uh, 14 players uh, with international duties. Even even. Um, some players that they were not there, normal they are, like, for example, the um, situation of Raul, that is normal, is a player that is in, uh, involved in the, the national team as well, could be even more, but um, not the perfect scenario, but you know, it's not just for us, it's for all the teams. Um, some teams they have more players, other teams they, they don't, but um, we know what we are going to, to face and we are, we are going to be ready and not, not, it's, going, it's not going to be excuse that we didn't. We didn't have all the players to work um, during the last um, few days to prepare the game. Lovely. Looking ahead um, to Sheffield United, you won the last fixture sure of this, but I guess looking ahead to this weekend, what can you expect from them um, in terms of, I guess, how they're going to play? A team that is going to fight really hard to, to, to get the points, definitely. Um, they are not in the position that they, they wanted, for sure. When you are in the bottom of the, the, the table, is really tough. Um, every single every single game that you don't get points, you know that you are getting more in trouble, all that stuff. But the reality that with um, some tough games, even some tough results as well, heavy results for them, they have been showing the capacity to react. And last game is a good example. They, they, they went away from home and tough place to go, and they were winning the game until the last stages of the match. And they got just one one point, but uh, um, was a game when they they perform well. They change against the formation. They they change some players as well. Uh, some players they have they, they had an impact in in the game. And uh, as I said that to you. Of course, we expect a tough game. It's always tough to play there, and the crowd, uh, all the environment uh, around. Um, and as as I said before, they are going to fight really hard because. Um, they still think that they, 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 they have the chances, the chances are there for that to, them to fight for and they are going to do it, um, to make it really harder for us, for sure. Lovely. Um, and just lastly, I guess Fulham will go plan to open a new stand, but um, it's going to have lots of extravagant features, including a swimming pool, two Michelin star restaurant. I just wanted to get your thoughts on that and any plans to go up there with the team. No. <laughs> what I want is to... Uh, to see uh, as soon as you can to see that that stand full of, of of fans to support ourselves that is the main the main thing for for me as a manager and uh, really all the other facilities is not is not for us this is really is a is a, um, something that the club decided that is going to help the club to um, to grow and to to develop and to have probably more revenue in in, in some situations. Um, about myself as an um, uh, as a manager and our players, what I would love to see uh, and as soon as possible, I repeat again, uh, to see that stand full of people to support Fulham Football Club. Lovely, thank you, Mr. Thank you. Hi, Marco. Hi. Um, we learned about a week ago that Luis will be leaving to become the head coach of the South. Yeah. 
Um, how big a loss is it? Of course, he's been a part of your staff, not just here, but previously at Everton too. Was well, Everton not in all all the Everton because for me it's a, it's a normal situation. I look it is a is a, a normal. Um, I know the people that I have working with me and this um, when we join uh, when I invite Luis to come to work with me was more or less the same situation that happened. That my well, I, I I have had an assistant as well working with me probably in five clubs before I. Um, Everton and was with me in Everton and of course after the first season in Everton he left and I joined I invited Luis to come and Luis was in the last two clubs for me it's not something new it's, it's something that as, he, uh, as I see an, a natural thing a, a natural way that things happen and it's going to be another normal situation that I have I'm going to decide again Okay, uh, we're going to the run-in as everyone calls it the, the final nine games of the season what's your motivation going into this game? Full of motivation. As I said, I said last before the, the the Tottenham game. Of course, is slightly different when you play against a side like Tottenham. The motivation is really high. At at, at Cottage, you felt that as well. But um, you have some some obligations, some things that they are compulsory for us. Is about motivation, about desire and will to go every single time. The, our commitment with the football club and with with ourselves has to be always on the top and it's going to be the same for us. Um, every time you play a football match uh, and you go inside a football match, is to do our maximum. Is to, to do, I, I just see in, a, in one way is to do it with full of motivation, 100% motivation is the, is the way that I demand them to train every single day and it will not make sense if you don't do it in the game again. Looking at your home form compared to your away yes. form, nine wins at Craven Cottage but just two away from yes. home. Have you figured out what it is? Is that a big, um, I guess, objective for you in these final games yeah. to try and turn that around? Yes, it's clear. I said in the beginning of the second round of the season that is something that um, we set as a target to improve our away form. Was not good enough during the first round of the the, the season, of course. And for many different reasons, even the schedule was really tough for us. First round, the, the, if you see the games that you play away from home, the type of sides is always really tough as well, but not excuse. We normally, we, in that type of games, we are really, um, you answer really well. And clearly is our target to improve the, 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 the waveform and the, I think we are capable to do it. And fortunately for us, uh, apart from Man United game, last three games, uh, they were we were capable to win. It was the game against Burnley where we were winning until the last minutes of the game two 0 and even the game against Wolves we were clear we were we were a better team and we were the team that created much more chances and we were not clinical. I think we are growing not just away from home as a team. It's clear that the, the, the our form our you are living a good moment and we we want to keep this moment or if if you can even better. And of course, now the next two games they are away from home, and this, uh, the challenge is there for us. Um, it's going to be a good challenge for us to to keep improving as, as as a team, to keep going the right direction. And of course, just one way you can do it is to perform really well. And of course, after the results, they are going to 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 speak louder. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi. As you know, in the Premier League, everyone can beat everyone. So, how important is it that you? You're not complacent going into the game at Sheffield, considering where they are in the league. If you going, if you are going to be complacent, you are going to have problems. You are going to to be surprised, and of course, that is the first. Mm, and the first way that we have to prepare this game is to, and we are preparing to be honest, not as I said before, not a perfect scenario. They didn't have all the players. Players are arriving the last two three days of, uh, for sure. But of course, we have to go with the, with the same ambition, same focus, and some the same desire that we played the last last few games. And um, just in this way, you can go there and you can fight for the three points, and you can get a good result. This reverse fixture, at the start of the season, William was it was a class performance from him. How much would you want him to stay at the end of the season? Of course, his contract's up in the summer. Yes, it's, the William situation is more or less the same than last season. Last season was was same situation when he he first joined ourselves. He signed just one one year, and of course during the season I I had last season some conversations with him. We decided to leave for the end of the season because he he wanted to see how the season goes and after to take a decision. And this season is more or less the same. Of course, I have had some conversations with with him. Uh, um, throughout the season about that, that situation um, he's going to wait until the end of the season of course it's important that player at, at his age he has to feel um, how, how he's feeling the end of the season to make 
for sure to analyze the season and after to take decisions. And of course, we respect that situation from him. Uh, what I want is to keep uh, taking the best from him in every single game. And he, he did show last game against Tottenham again how he's capable, what he's capable to do. See, it's a good run of form for Fulham and, and the goals of Muniz has, has helped that. Is there a bit of a pressure on his shoulder to complete, to keep that up? No, oh, the pressure is, um, is a privilege for for this situation for for Rodrigo. Uh, he's, he's in much better position right now than he was three months ago. And why why he should feel so much pressure right now? Was was worse was three months ago where he was on the bench and uh, fighting really hard to have a chance to probably to score. Now if he's playing so so well, he's improving, he's working hard as well, and he's scoring goals. Why he's going to feel much more pressure now? It has to be this pressure that he's feeling now that everyone respects more him, uh, probably the defenders are more aware about himself and they feel him like like a, a treat really in, in our attacking line. Fantastic for a striker that you feel that the people around you believe more in ourselves, even your teammates, they they trust that you can you can solve a problem, or you can solve a game for us and, and you can be a decisive player. It's a fantastic feeling and is um, I really see it as a privilege much more than a, something uh, not so good. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. That's the broadcast section finished.